Hello, Chris here from ePianos. In the spirit of trying to become the UK's most helpful piano shop, I'm going to be answering some of the most frequently asked questions about the Yamaha CSP range of digital pianos. Check out the ePianos website for the latest deals on offers on digital pianos and keyboards, and check out our huge selection of pre-owned models as well. What's the difference between the CSP 150 and the CSP 170 and this comes up so often that we've actually made a dedicated video for it which I shall point you to if you look up at the top of the screen something will pop up you click on that and you can watch the video I'll put the link in the description as well. Do they feel like a real piano to play? Uh, yes they most certainly do because on both of these models, CSP 150 and 170, Yamaha have included one of their excellent graded hammer weighted key mechanisms. So what that means is when you go out to play the piano and you push down a few keys, you will feel that there's a mechanical resistance in the keys. And this is a highly advanced, highly tuned system from Yamaha that basically to answer the question, yes, they do feel like a traditional piano to play. Coming back quickly to the differences between the CSP 150 and 170, one of the key things is, if you excuse the pun, the CSP 170 has wooden white keys on it, but the 150 has plastic white keys. And this is, of course, a step closer to being a truly authentic keyboard mechanism because on traditional pianos of course the keys will be made out of wood. Do they have the standard 88 keys as seen on traditional pianos? Uh, yes, both of the models CSP 150 and 170 have the 88 keys, the full length of a traditional piano and the keys are full sized as well. Um, naturally this means that the width of the piano has to be quite wide like that of a traditional piano but of course nowhere near as high because they don't have the iron frames in there. So if you're looking for something that was a little bit more compact but still had those weighted keys um, then we have a really good blog all about this that you can see on our website that shows you all of the smaller width-wise um, digital pianos you can get that'll save you a lot of space. Can I play with headphones? Yes, you can definitely play with headphones. It's pretty standard now on all digital pianos and keyboards that there will be headphone sockets. And on the CSP 150 and 170, we have two sockets underneath the front panel. So you can plug in two sets of headphones at the same time which is perfect for uh, having a lesson with a teacher or playing duets for that matter. Um, incidentally, when it comes to headphones, we've got a really good guide on which type of headphones are good to use for digital pianos, which you can see um, in the description below. Will these pianos go out of tune? No, they won't go out of tune. Digital pianos like these cannot go out of tune because there are no strings inside them to go out of tune. Um, read more about this, more details on our blog and see our video on it as well. Not having to tune these pianos is one of the reasons that digital pianos are becoming so popular now because it's virtually zero maintenance on them. Um, okay, so that's some of the really common questions that we get and let's move on to a slightly more complex one, starting with um, the tablet that you see behind me here is a big feature of the CSP, the Clavinova Smart Piano um, range from Yamaha. And the question we get all the time is, is a tablet or smartphone required to use these pianos? Um, no, is the answer. It's not required to have a smartphone or tablet to use these. You can indeed use them as a standalone piano that looks um, pretty fantastic. Um, when you turn the piano on, it will reset itself to just give you a piano sound. And the features that are built into it, like the extra sounds that it can make and the extra accompaniment styles, things like that, and the songs that are built in, can still be accessed without a tablet or smartphone. But it does require a few little, a few slightly complex key combination presses. But yes, you can use it without um, a tablet or smartphone if you like. But I do have to say that um, to not use it with a tablet or smartphone is, um, is a bit of a waste because that gives you a great interface into using all of the features. It makes it very easy to navigate your way around all the features and functions on there. Um, but to answer the question, yeah, you don't need one to play the piano with. Are they compatible with Android devices? Uh, yes, the Yamaha Smart Pianist app, which is the main companion app for the CSP range from Yamaha, 
um, is indeed compatible with iOS devices and Android devices. Uh, you can see a full list of uh, compatibility on Yamaha's website. I'll put a link in the description below. Will it charge my device while it's plugged in? Uh, good question this one and the answer is yes. Uh, at least on iPads I can confirm that uh, and iPhones that it will, while you've got it plugged in, uh, charge up your device as well. I haven't got an and Android one to try it with so I can't answer you conclusively but it probably does, yes. How do you connect your iPad? Um, well, actually, that can be done very easily using a cable, as I've done here. Uh, as you can see, it just plugs into the um, lightning socket on this particular iPad, and there's a USB socket on the side. So it's a standard cable, probably the one that you use to charge your phone at the moment. Uh, for Android, it's something similar. Um, you can do it wirelessly as well if you want to using a uh, wireless network adapter and you can connect it via Bluetooth for MIDI operations as well. Uh, we have a complete guide on this which you can see on our website blog. The description uh, link is in the description below. Are the stream lights a good way to learn the piano? In my opinion anything that brings a uh, learner to the piano to play it and practice and not be doing something else is a good thing for sure. Uh, and the streamlight system used on the CSP pianos uh, is particularly attractive if you're not that keen in learning in the traditional way. And while this streamlight system is uh, very clever and very intuitive, um, I can see it having limitations when a beginner starts to take their next steps on the learning journey. Specifically, I can envisage a, a learner um, making some progress and actually outgrowing the Streamlight system, which is quite rigid. It tells you exactly which notes to play and when, but as you get a bit better, you like to express yourself a bit more. And I think you're you will hit a limit at some point, but for getting you going, getting you going from zero to playing some tunes, then the Streamlight system is excellent. Can I plug in a microphone for singing? Uh, yes, both of the CSP 150 and CSP 170s have a quarter inch jack input for microphone. So yes, if you're a singer, you can plug in a microphone, uh, put it on a mic stand perhaps, a boom stand above here, and you can sit and play and you can sing and your voice will come through the speakers. Um, a step better than that is there are 44 different types of vocal harmony um, built into the piano that you can uh, tweak uh, via the app as well and sing along to for a really professional sounding performance. So for singers, these models are excellent. Why are the polished ebony and matte finishes different in price? Um, well, the, the matte black finishes and the polished uh, ebony ones are a different price because it's it's just to do with production costs. The polished ebony finishes 52 layers of polished ebony lacquer and the uh, matte finishes are a veneer. Um, in the comparison video that's, um, that I pointed you to earlier, I do quite a close-up analysis of the two different finishes so you can get a really good look at them. There's no doubt the polished ebony finish looks fantastic, but we're talking about four or five hundred pounds difference here. So if you're on a budget or, or you just don't mind the um, matte finishes anyway, then you know, it makes sense to go for the, uh, the, the matte one. Can I connect them to a computer? Uh, yes, you can. As well as connecting them to a uh, iOS or Android device, you can output these pianos uh, to a PC or Mac. You can send an audio signal out or you can send a MIDI signal out as well. Um, all the connections you need are there. You've got the uh, standard MIDI multi-pin connections and you've got USB to host outputs as well. Um, transferring uh, audio and MIDI from these pianos can be done via a USB flash drive as well if that makes it easier for you because there's USB socket on here too. How are they different from the Yamaha CLP models? Um, so the main difference between the CSP and the CLP models is the CSPs incorporate the Streamlight um, learning system uh, which you can see here and the uh, the housed and the panel just above the main keyboard and on CLP models the the whole concept is just to keep it looking classic. So there's the very uncluttered designs as you can see and there's nothing uh, obstructing the the uh, the front panel there as you see on CSPs. Uh, the CLP range also does incorporate a more advanced piano style weighted key and we, it uses 
the Yamaha Grand Touch system, which is one of their better weighted key mechanisms. So we're talking about if you really, really want to be focused on perhaps doing your grades and training to be classical pianist, then CLP may be the better way to go. Uh, so that's worth thinking about. The other thing is the CSP models uh, include hundreds of backings and rhythm accompaniments, which essentially means you can play the piano along to bands of different styles, rock and pop, uh, jazz, um, country, classical, almost anything you like. But the CLP models, they don't have that. They do have some very rudimentary drum beats you can play onto, but there's nothing that will give you extra instruments like guitars, bass, synthesizers, strings, all coming in at once to accompany you. So in summary, the CLP range is really focused on just giving you a highly authentic piano playing experience. How are they different from the Yamaha CVP models? Um, the differences between these can be seen in just a glance at the front panel of the uh, Yamaha CVP models, um, which are covered in buttons and there's this enormous touch screen on the front as well. Um, the CVP 805 and 809 models um, are much more advanced in terms of their um, selection of voices and the selection of rhythms and accompaniments. Um, in short, you may think of the CSP range as being a little bit of a combination of the traditional CLP range and the more advanced how pianos might be if they're invented today, CVP range, the versatile range. One aspect where the CVP differs from the CLP and the CSP is the cabinet design itself could hardly be described as um, traditional um, or minimalist. It necessarily includes a very large touchscreen and buttons for interfacing with all of the various functions that it's got. But of course with CSP and CLP, um, if I were to take the iPad away, everything would look very traditional and minimalist. How does delivery work with these pianos? So this type of digital piano becomes very safely flat packed. Um, some basic assembly is required and 99.9% .9 of people can manage this and elect to do this themselves uh, and achieve it with no issues whatsoever. We do have a good video on how to, how to build a digital piano like this. I'll put the description, I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, the main part of the piano is actually already assembled in the box, that's the key thing. So all the, that you assemble is the feet and the legs and then you just put the, the piano bit on top. Usually two people would just lift it on top. Um, I hope this video has been useful to you. If you have a question about these models, um, just leave them in the comments section below and we'll get right back to you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.